In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what pingbacks are, what pingback spam is, what it looks like, how to delete it, and how to stop pingback spam from collecting on your website. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, Come back to this tutorial, let's get started. So it turns out I didn't know I was allowing pingbacks and trackbacks. I thought they were turned off, but I guess at some point along the way they were turned on. And a bunch of my posts, if you scroll to the very bottom, have pingbacks like this and lots of them. And they're all spam. Every single one of them is spam. Now you don't want this on your site because all, these are all outbound links that go to somewhere else that are taking link juice away from your site, giving it to another site and oftentimes they're not quality sites and they're not in your market, so this hurts your SEO. So you wanna prevent this from happening. To do that, you go onto your dashboard, you go to settings and then discussion, and you wanna make sure that this checkbox, allow notifications from other blogs, pingbacks and trackbacks on new articles, is not checked. And in case you don't know what a pingback is, it's basically if someone mentions your blog and has a URL to one of your posts, it then shows up on your site as well, which is a great feature if these are legitimate pingbacks. If someone, if a popular blogger was referencing your website in their content, they would share a link and then they'll get a link back and it's, it's kind of trading links almost. So it's, I mean, it depends whether you like it or not. Personally, I don't like it because it leaves you wide open to spam and you have to do a lot more work trying to filter the spam from the legitimate. So I usually just turn them off. So make sure that box is unchecked. If you wanna turn them off, click on save changes. And then all the, the existing ones that we have, if we go over to comments and then choose from this dropdown, pings, and then click on filter. We then have a list of all our pingbacks right here. There are a lot of them. And then if you want to get rid of them, just click on this checkbox. It'll highlight all the ones on this page. Go to mark as spam or move to trash and then click on apply. And then it's going to process and those comments on that one page will be gone. Or just those pingbacks on that one page will be gone. But we have 64 pages. So what you can do, if, if you have a lot, most sites don't wouldn't have this many. But if you have a lot, you can go in here, change the number of items per page to whatever you want. You can change it to 1000 as long as your server can handle putting out that many items and then deleting that many items, that'll work. So you can go ahead and up increase this number to 500, for example. Click on apply. And now there are 500 items on this page. As you can see, we had 64 pages a moment ago. Now we only have three pages to process. Check on this box and it will check all of the pingbacks on here. And just go through the same process. Mark a spam, move to trash, click on apply. And that's how you clear your pingbacks if you don't have too many. But if you have a lot, like if you have tens of thousands of pingbacks you wanna get rid of, you'd have to do that in your database. Otherwise it'd take way too long. And if you want me to make a video on how to do it in the database, leave a comment down below and I will make that happen. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.